Welcome to the French Gray Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood. We're going to show you guys a demonstration. We're going to take you through a setup that will reduce freeze ups in the wintertime. The underground pipe for your downspout system. It's a legitimate concern if you live in the north that you have to be vigilant to avoid freeze ups. There's techniques that you have to use so that you have success with this. This is a three inch pop-up. I chose a three inch pop-up because it holds less water in the elbow. It is on a clear translucent four inch corrugated pipe. You can see the water in this corrugated pipe. So the water's coming down in this corrugated pipe. It's finding its way to the pop-up emitter. Again, the pop-up emitter has a three inch elbow. The technique that I'm going to show you will work for a four inch pop up. If you have trees with big leaves, stick with a four inch elbow on your pop up. If you have no trees in the area and leaves aren't a concern, then in the north, a three inch elbow holds less water and you're going to perk that little bit of water much quicker and easier than you would the four inch elbow. So 1% slope is pretty easy to achieve. All homes, when they're built, have slope. I realize that some of the older homes, before there was a, you know, building codes, building officials to hold the builders to certain standards, I know the older homes have issues. But anything that's been built since pretty much 1970 and current, is going to be fine. You're going to have that 1% slope. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to stop, you know, feeding this pop-up water. We want to shut off the hose that's feeding this corrugated pipe, and we want to see how much water is left to sit in this corrugated pipe. So the water all runs down to the pop-up. Now you can see pop up, there's less pressure, there's less pounds per square inch, there's less PSI, but it's still running out at 1% slope here. So let's see how much water we are left with, with 1% slope. All right, so you can see you have a few feet that holds water. Now we taped up the hole on this three inch elbow so that we can do this demonstration. If we're not going to design the system to perk, I want to show everybody this is what you're going to end up with. You're going to have water right there. Okay, so dynamite, dynamite, dynamite. Got a couple of feet, a couple of feet left. That's great. That's great. 1% slope, no problem. This is no big deal. That's not a lot of water. Now, a basin holds a lot of water. It's like a five gallon pail of water. So in clay, you're never going to get that to perk in a little area. That's the problem with those drain basins. Now the few cups of water that are left behind, a couple of feet in just a four inch pipe, we're going to take care of that, show you how. All right, we went ahead and we put a few feet of knife cut on. We're going we're gonna to show you what happens when you add three feet of knife cut? Now, knife cut, it has a really, really small cut in it. No material removed. Unlike our eight slot or our four slot staggered, there's actual material removed. That's too big a hole. I just want a blade to cut it. So this is what knife cut is. When they manufacture it, these are just blade cuts. No material ground out. Okay, so when we install this, we actually have the knife cut in stone and fabric, just like our French drain system. So here, we've loaded it up with water. These very detailed and technical demonstrations that we put together for you guys. So we're loading the whole pipe up with water. I mean, we have really, really good flow. Now we're gonna cut the flow of the water. We're gonna show you 
you see how the water's just sweating out of the knife cut? See what it's doing? So when this stops, when there's when there's no more rain, when the rain event is over, thunderstorm, whatever, and the water's running off the roof, out of the gutter downspouts, the final bit of water comes out of the pop-up, you can see it leached out of the knife cut. Now this won't hold any water. Then let's go to the three inch. This is why you know I encourage the three inch when you don't have big trees, big tree leaves, and you need a really big, you know, four inch pipe to feed all that debris. We basically cut little holes in the bottom of these so they can leach too. And I just we just taped it up. There it is, just pouring out. Slowly just leaches into the, the soil. So when old man winter shows shows up, it's not an issue because the knife cut ran down the last few feet of corrugated pipe on 1% slope here. And then the holes that we have in the bottom of the elbow drain out the pop-up. And that's such a tiny little bit of water that it will leach even in clay. Now remember, clay does perk some. That's why it goes from being hard as a rock to soft like pudding. And that's why we got away from using the drain basins. We won't use the drain basins anymore because they just hold way too much water. As you guys know, come winter time, it just becomes a block of ice. So this here is bulletproof. This is how you keep your line from freezing up in the winter. Now, this is not going to keep your downspout from freezing up. The only thing that will keep your downspout from freezing up is heat tape. But, yeah, you bury one of these big guys in clay, you just got five gallons of water, and you're asking it to perk just in a small area. It's not going to happen. It doesn't happen. Here, we have small pipe, four-inch four diameter pipe. We're just asking it to leach a little bit of water, not very much. And then right in here, we just have a cup of water. This will keep your line from freezing up. Again, downspouts still freeze up. You're gonna have to put heat tape in your downspouts. All right, everybody, until that next video.